Hey everybody, Wes from 180 here. Wanted to record a quick video just showing you how to add events to your website. So right here I've got our classic church um, quick site uh, that we've that we built. This is our template that we created here at 180. Um, if I go to events, you'll see that there here are the events on that page. These are just sample events that come with this. If we have built your website, we use the same um, events plugin. On all our websites, it's called uh, Modern Events Calendar. So what I want to show you how to do real quickly is just how to add events to this calendar. So uh, with that being said, what you want to do is you'll go to your church website, you'll put in forward slash WP dash admin, and once you do that, you'll get to this login screen right here. I'm going to log in with my username and password. Try that again. There we go. And now I'm on the back end of the website. So what I want to do is I want to come down here to MEE Calendar, which stands for Modern Events Calendar. And if I go to All Events, I'll see all of the events that, these are just the ones that are sample events that come with the plugin. Um, and then when I do this, I'll go up here and hit Add Event. This will allow me to be able to add event to the calendar. So what I'm going to do is create an event called Christmas Caroling. And here's where I could put a description of the event. So I'll do this real quick. All right. All right, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go over here and make sure I autocorrect that. Thank goodness for autocorrect and correct that as well. Then what I'm going to do is come down here, and this is where I'll set the day and time. So um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and set this to be the 11th of December. And I can come over here and set the time. So we'll set it for 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right, so now that we've got that set, um, another thing we could do just to kind of show you, you can click on this right here. It says event repeating, and you could change this to an event that was re reoccurring. Um, so whether that was, you know, daily, weekly, weekend, certain days, you can do lots of different custom things here. Repeat it only for so many different times, and then you can end and schedule when you want that to finish up down there. So lots of different options for creating reoccurring events, which is really great. Again, there's more options down here where you can even add locations or venues. You would go over here and add that from uh, locations right there, links, organizers, costs, uh, things like that. It's a very powerful, well-rounded events calendar plugin that we use, and we really like it. One other thing I will mention over here is you have the ability to be able to add tags. So this would be something you'd want to sort your events by. You can add a tag there. So I'm going to add a tag on mine. Call it Christmas and hit Add. And under Category, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add one called Christmas. These will be Christmas events, and that category has been added. And we're just going to make this green because it's festive for Christmas time. And finally down here, we're going to come where it says Featured Image. This is important. It may be here or it may be around in here. Sometimes it kind of uh, can float around a little bit. But look for the one that says Featured Image, and then you'll hit Set Featured Image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this right here, this um, uh, this uh, Christmassy kind of Christmas tree photo there that I uploaded. And I'll hit Set Featured Image. And let me say this too uh, real quickly. Let me back up right here. If you had a photo, you can drag and drop it anywhere into this interface here, and it will upload it to your website. So if you have a photo, you get to this point, just drag and drop it right here. As well, you can go to Upload Files and go to the File Picker, and it can find that file for you. And I'll make sure you notice what your maximum upload size is right there. But I've already uploaded one, so I'm going to choose that one and hit Set Featured Image. Now, with this all said and done, uh, before I hit Publish right here, I want to go through and give it a little preview. So once I do that, it's going to open a new tab. It's going to show me what the event will look like, um, my description, the title, the ability to, be able to add it to calendars, day and time, you know, how much time is left, tags, things of that nature. Uh, people have the ability to be able to share this. So lots of different really uh, great options in this plugin. So with that being said, I'll come over here, and before I hit publish one more time, is I, if I wanted this to publish, say, uh, in the future at some point, I can go here and select the day and time, and then hit OK, and it'll publish on that date. So it isn't something that you have to wait till you publish um, you know, immediately. You can do it ahead of time, which is a great feature a lot of people don't know about. So, But we're ready to go ahead and publish this, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Publish right here on this event. 
And now that I have this event published, I'm going to come back here onto the front end of the website. And if I refresh the events page, here it is right here. So this is just a list view that shows all the events coming up. And then what people can do is they can click on this and get even more detail about the event with a description. Uh, and then also add it to their calendar and see when it's coming. They can come down here to the comment section and ask a question. If they have about that event, they can come here and share it to social media or email it email it to other people to let them know about it. So this is a great um, plugin. It's called Modern Events Calendar. We really like to use it here at 180 Digital. So I hope that you found that this video was helpful to you and have fun creating some events. Thanks and have a great day.